All right, we're here in a bit. This is DreamWorks 5. It's Shrek. And go ahead and get the bingo counter started. Not because of tangents, although let's be real, it's going to happen. Because I feel like that is going to be the just winning consistent phrase of this video. It's Shrek. What do I need to say about it? You've probably seen this movie. You've probably seen it several times. If I, you know, like, so I guess here comes the tangent. You know, sometimes when you play a video game and at the end of the game, it gives you your stats. Like I know Metal Gear does this. I know Kingdom Hearts does this. Be like, yeah, this is how many like battles you fought. This is how many times you died. This is how many items you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know if we get stats at the end of our lives. I'm kind of scared to see what mine are, but if there's, like, a stat of, and, like, I actually get to see, like, some of my favorite movies and whatnot, like, how many times I've actually seen them, Brave Little Toaster or Toy Story takes top marks in terms of how many times I've seen them. Maybe, maybe Spirited Away gives them a run for their money, but it's probably between those two. But when you get down to Shrek, I don't think I've seen it, like, a hundred times. But if I've seen, like, at the end of my life stats, like, oh, you've seen it, like, 30 times, 50 times, I would not be surprised by that. So this is a movie that, even if I hadn't seen it, like, a month ago, it would still be fresh in my mind because, get your bingo card ready, it's Shrek! I know this movie! I love this movie! That <laughs> This is the... I, I hope that's the fun. <laughs> but, like, to me, that is... This is the DreamWorks movie. Do I think it's their best movie? No. I don't think I would quite put Shrek 1 above Prince of Egypt. Like, I, I prefer Prince of Egypt over Shrek 1. I can say that pretty definitively. I don't know if I would put Shrek 2 above Prince of Egypt. That's a lot closer. I don't think Shrek is the best Shrek movie. I think it's the second best. I think Shrek 2 was better. I think Shrek 2 was bigger. I think it's funnier. I like a lot of the crap that happens in it a bit more. But it's Shrek! It's great! It's funny! It's a great subverse... It's crass! It's, I watched it as a kid! I remember the stop on her jackass! Be like, that's the coolest thing ever! I was telling Clay a story last night because we were talking about Shrek. And I was like, yeah. When I was in second grade, I had this friend named Connor. And our favorite thing to do is we would just swear. We'd be like, yeah. Damn, oh yeah, that's fun, yeah, damn it, oh yeah, oh yeah, shit, oh that's bullshit, and it was the hypest thing, she's like, we're not supposed to do this, but it's so cool, and I'm not gonna say the reason we did that was because we watched Shrek, I think Shrek had come out a couple years before that, but it was the kind of thing, like, you saw it as a kid, you're like, that's cool, that they, they could say that kind of stuff, this is amazing, I, I wanna say the, I wanna say crap and jackass and all that stuff. Although, possibly kind of ironically, even though it's like, I love all like the crassness, and as a kid, I thought the humor, or like, I, I love the humor, regardless of when I was a kid or an adult. Like, I love the cussing and the edginess to it. I did not realize until maybe this year or last year that Farquaad is supposed to be Fuckwad. You would think I'd pick up on that, and I don't know, maybe it's because I'd seen it so many times, because it's Shrek, that I was just like, yeah, that's just his name. I'm just so used to it. I've never tried to like, what's the word? Like dissect. That's it. I've never really tried to dissect what it's supposed to be a joke about. I mean, I think I probably thought like, yeah, it has far in it. And the next one takes place in far, far away. And it's just like a fairy tale thing. And then I think it was again, like Clay was like, yeah, it's like Lord Fuckwad. He's like, yo, I laughed really hard when I realized that like the gears were just turning in my head. You just hear the doo 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 doo. Oh, he's Lord Fuckwad. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's. I like the main cast, both in terms of the characters and the voice acting. From what I understand, so originally, like, as you may or may not know, Chris Farley was originally going to play Shrek, and then I believe it was he passed away, so they had Mike Myers fill in. From what I understand, Mike Myers did an entire version of the movie in, I, I don't know if it was a regular voice or a voice that wasn't the Scottish accent. And then, you know, the movie was done, everything was good to go, and he's like, wait, 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 I came up with something better. Can you let me re-record it? And they said, no, the movie's done. So what I have heard is he used his own money to, like, pay for the recording sessions 
to redo the dialogue in the iconic Scottish accent. <laughs> and I haven't seen that new Mike Myers show. I think it came out last year on Netflix. I don't even remember what it was called. I think I heard very mixed things. But I've seen the scene where Mike Myers interacts with Shrek. Yeah, I'm the real ogre of... What was it? Like, Lancaster? Some shit. The prof, now that was it. <laughs> and he was like, Mike Myers, like, thanks, Shrek. Yeah, a lot. I'm like, this is so bizarre, and I'm so glad I live in this timeline. What the hell? Um, I like... I mean, I like how it is a subversive fairy tale. You know, like, you have the princess who's singing with the animals, which causes the bird to explode. <laughs> like, just, just what? Um, you know, the ogre is the good guy. You know, the prince trying, you know, wanting to do all the stuff ends up being the antagonist. And then in the sequel, the fairy godmother and Prince Charming are the antagonist. Yeah, I love all that. But I love how even though it's trying to, being DreamWorks, almost kind of give that middle finger to Disney... It still has a very wholesome message by the end of the movie. It is not how you look. It is not what is on the outside. It is what is on in the inside. Farquaad saw Fiona for how she looked. And then when he saw what she was really like, he was disgusted. Shrek does not care about how Fiona looks. But by getting to know her, and the dog is like, she's nasty as you. He's like, I, I vibe with this. This is my kind of woman. And then at the end of the movie, it's like, yes, yeah, she is also an ogre. So you could, no, I'm not even going to try to be like, you could argue that, you know, the message is a little lost because she ends up taking a form that he would like, like, no, because I, he didn't give a shit about that. He genuinely fell for the woman. And that's, that's just nice. It's just pleasant. She found someone who could love her even at her ugliest. And he found the same thing. There's something really genuinely beautiful about that. Also, I, I like Smash Mouth. I'm not going to be like, they're one of my favorite pants or one of the greatest of all time. But no, but that cover of I'm, I'm a Believer at the end, I love it. And you can't talk about Shrek without bringing up All-Star, which, weirdly enough, not a movie I associate with Shrek. You would think so. You're probably thinking, How? And I feel like over the years with all of the memes, yes, I associate them like the song with Shrek, but it's not the first movie I associate it with. That's the Digimon movie because I owned the soundtrack to that movie and I listened to it all the time. I think it's a banger soundtrack. The second song on the soundtrack is All Star because it's also what plays at the literal very end of the Digimon movie. When I think it's what is his name like Lotmon, Kokomon, because there's a Lotmon and a Kokomon. I don't remember which one is which, but it's like dancing as All Star is playing, and so that is what I associate the song with more than Shrek. As weird as that is, but I mean. I love the song. It's a banger. It's a meme, but I thought it was a banger before it was a meme. So I didn't, like, yeah, I'm a hipster. I, I liked All Star before it was cool. But like, I, I genuinely just like the song. And what do I need to say else about this movie? It's endearing. I, I almost said in spite of itself. It's like, no, it is endearing because of itself. And again, I feel like the entire movie fits its message. It's that early DreamWorks 3D animation, so it's not pretty to look at, but like an ogre, like an onion, like there's some layers to it, because like once you get past that, there's really funny writing. Oh gosh, the fucking Robin Hood scene is so funny! <laughs> Monsieur Hood! <laughs> and then you break down that in another layer, there's she really liked the music. I really like the cover of Hallelujah in this movie. The, I just brought it up, the freaking Robin Hood scene. Like, the song's really funny. Um, I don't give a damn about my reputation. Like, that's a, that's a cool song. I like it. And then on another layer, there's a really good theme and message in the movie. There's a lot going on here. Again, I don't think I like it quite as much as the Prince of Egypt, but I would put it in the same tier. Like, these are both S-tier movies. Now, at the end of DreamWorks, who ultimately get the coveted double S-tier, I don't know. 
It's like, yeah, I would say these are both incredibly high quality movies that I have a lot of love for. And yeah, and I also actually read something really recently that apparently Prince of Egypt was like the dream child of DreamWorks, no pun intended. Like this is something like, we love this, this is going to be our like, great work, our magnum opus. And I guess if people, sometimes people were punished because like they fucked up either on Prince of Egypt or in general, they were sent to the Gulag and the Gulag was the work on Shrek. <laughs> and like, that's really funny to me. Like it reminds me how Disney was making Lion King and Pocahontas together. And they're like, yeah, this Lion King movie, it's African Hamlet. Like it's, it's whatever. It'll be fine. I guess Pocahontas is going to be the movie. This is going to be the crown jewel, the creme de la creme of our Disney Renaissance. And Lion King is quite possibly still considered their best movie. It's not my favorite. I have, I think I have four movies above it. I'm going to see if I can remember them real quick. From four to one, Jungle Book, Aladdin, Lilo and Stitch, and Zootopia. Yes, those are the four movies I personally have above Lion King. I still love Lion King. I think it's great. It has its problems, but its problems kind of almost make the movie better in its own weird way. Pocahontas is Pocahontas. It's a movie I don't really think works. And then you got this, where it's like, here's the movie that's like really going to put us on the map, and I think it is, at this point, still their best work. But it's not the one that entered the cultural zeitgeist. That was Shrek. Shrek was the movie that put DreamWorks on the map, and I think it's more or less just as good. I don't like it quite as much. But damn if I don't love this movie, because... It's Shrek. It's it's an S tier movie. I mean, is it a ten out of ten? Maybe. If not, it's like an eight or a nine. Like being conservative about it. It's fantastic. Uh, what's? Okay, I don't really have anything else much to say about it. You've probably seen it. You would probably agree. Yeah, it's Shrek. It's fantastic. Next is Spirit: A Stallion of the Cimarron, which I know I've seen. I've seen it multiple times because I when I was a kid if I liked a movie I watched it a bunch of times and I liked every movie I saw until Rugrats Go Wild that was the first movie I ever watched I didn't like but I was like yeah I I liked it I don't remember it being this great movie but who knows maybe I'll rewatch and go yo spirit slaps this is actually one of their better movies but We'll see. I, I think it's. I think it goes that and then Sinbad, which I've actually never seen, so I'm really looking forward to it. But that's all I have to say about this one. We'll see you when I watch the next movie.